A housing hustle. It is happening in Greenfield. Police there are investigating a case tonight after a woman thought she was renting a home only to lose hundreds of dollars. It is a scam that's going on right now, targeting more and more young people. Yeah, tonight, Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us how to avoid making a costly mistake. On a Greenfield street in a simple West End neighborhood, homes don't come this cheap. $800 a month for rent for a fairly decent sized house for this area is very uncommon. In fact, it's simply too good. That's very low. Too good to be true. It's one of those scams that's always ongoing. A local college student at Ivy Tech believing she found her Greenfield rental home. She had submitted information through the website. Never thinking her search would end with a call to police. She was contacted by somebody claiming to be from that website saying, hey, that house is unavailable, but I have a different one to show you. He had the keypad access code to get in. Even rental agreement paperwork that looked legit to Deputy Chief Chuck McMichael. No, I didn't see anything that really stood out to me as being really out of the normal. That is until the student made her deposit and the key she was promised never showed. She called the leasing agent that was listed on the website and found out essentially that none of her transaction was legitimate. Greenfield police fear this scammer could strike again if people aren't vigilant. One way to avoid the scam, come check out the rental property in person. Don't just click away on a website like this one, sitting at your computer thinking this is easy. But if you're looking for a property on a website, check that property on other websites. If they try to get you pay with money wire, gift cards, if they are quick to give you the keys. Those are all telltale signs, says the Better Business Bureau. They can copy photos and information from actual listings. Ask for money via wire transfer, Zelle app, or gift cards. Chances are you're never going to see that money again. In Greenfield, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Be aware, experts also say look for words in emails or ads that are misspelled or they contain odd capital letters. Greenfield Police Department also still investigating where this scammer is actually located.